remember that truck truck stream was one of the first TF2 streams I really actually watched. Or like one of the first live streams at all. It was this cool time where he would pub a lot and he seemed to always find some happiness or laughter in, in whatever he was doing. Um, and the idea of talking in his chat was probably why I made a Twitch account at all. I don't know why, but I wanted to somehow put some more effort in than just saying hello. And so I pretended to be a Bolivian with poor English. For the first few months, I would watch Kurt's stream. My South American act was uh, actually really funny at first, and the whole chat and Kurt got some good uh, laughs out of it. I remember the first time I appeared, he was playing a pug on Glassworks, followed by Goalie Wash. I remember asking him to turn his hut off in really broken English. And then later, when he was complaining about Mangachu, I said, Is Mango Nerd? And it was pretty funny. I never really felt like I was lying much, but... Eventually, when the Bolivian broken English deal sort of faded off, I think Kurt always held it against me, or at least subconsciously. Because I doubt he could really even say anything about me by name. But whenever I talked in chat after that, I think he was ignoring me because I realized I was a, a troll or something. server. It was described as 1,000 slots, expandable to 10,000 at user request. I was really amped about it because I'd had a, a free trial mumble from the same company for about a month and we had all of our crew hang out there. And sometimes when we were trying to do crazy things and over-occupy the 12 slots, uh, we couldn't do it. I mean, that was, the, that was the whole point of buying it. And the server we had from the free version never upgraded when I spent the money just stayed at 12 slots. I spent a month or two trying to contact the server host about it. They never responded. They even blocked me from their Twitter. It just bummed me out so hard. I don't get what their motive was. If it was a scam outright, why would they have free trial servers that are totally functional and available to anyone who has an email address? Yet they had some aspect of maliciousness because they blocked me. It was just a bummer. Not the actual situation, but the, the way everything was handled. It was unnerving because nothing really made sense. but we had this one scout who like times four everyone's frags and kept things even between the teams because he was so good. I had this really specific memory of having my team die in an Uber fight and then having to get out in a uh, granary middle. I was leading through the choke to where I left the art being chased by a scout and I landed both crossbows on him. Killed him and survived with 200 ping. And the rambunctious Asians were screaming my name at peak volume the whole time. It was probably one of the more enjoyable moments ever. 